So absolute value. <clears throat> Let's start out with something straightforward and talk about what it means. There's a number of different ways to interpret it, but um, a simple way of viewing it with regard to solution and equation is what value for x will make this statement true? So uh, clearly, if x were to equal 3, and then we take the absolute value of 3, which is 3, uh, a rudimentary, very rudimentary under thinking, uh, understanding or way to think of it is <clears throat> it, it, it changes the number to positive if it was negative. So the, the absolute value of any number is always going to be positive. That is not really a good way to think of it, but it is uh, a way many do. <clears throat> so that 3 is equal to 3. But another solution that would make this true <clears throat> is, uh, is x equals negative 3, because the absolute value of negative 3 is 3, and of course in both cases we end up with 3 equals 3. Now, um, we do need a uh, s systematic way to go about solving these equations as they get more complicated. So uh, a way is to think of this stuff in here having multiple uh, possible solutions and so we think of it as there's a negative solution and a positive solution so we're going to set this equal to the right hand side and that also and uh, let's go here and so this one becomes x is equal to negative 3 and this is x equals 3 and so that also provides us with two solutions let's see that idea <clears throat> excuse me, that idea in action in a much more complicated uh, absolute value problem. So here we go. Uh, P minus 4 is equal to 2. And so this value, uh, we figured out that that doesn't work too well. This value uh, <clears throat> can be a negative version of that, and it would be, so in other words, this stuff in here could be negative 2, and when you take the absolute value of negative 2, that would equal 2, and that'll work. So um, we can set this equal to negative 2, because again, those in the inside could be negative 2, and that would work. And we could also set it equal to um, positive 2, because a positive 2 will make this statement true as well. When we solve uh, both of these equations, we get <clears throat> p is equal to negative 2. And up here we get p is equal to add 4 to both sides. And we get p is equal to 2. That has nothing to do with this 2 necessarily. It's just that, that number was 4. Um, let's try that again because I pulled that example from somewhere else and I don't like it. <laughs> let's try 5. We'll leave this as a 2. And we'll look at these two different ways to go about it. Uh, let's again look at p minus 5 is equal to negative 2 and uh, p minus 5 is equal to 2. So I'm going to add 5 to both sides over here. I should do the other one first. So if I add 5 to both sides, I'm going to get p equals negative, uh, adding 5, uh, negative 3. And over here, we're going to get, we're going to add 5 to this both sides of this equation I'm going to get p is equal to 7 so again that 2 and negative 2 up here does not indicate in any way that it, the solution is always going to be a positive negative of that value because it looks like that pattern shows up but that's not true we need to kind of do the work um, in the simplistic we're going to add 5 to both sides and get negative 3 we're going to add 5 to both sides and we'll get 7 okay uh, hopefully that's <clears throat> a way to go. Um, a more complicated, and we'll talk about some more, I guess, theoretical or thought, you know, thought, I guess it's more understanding what's going on to help you think about how many different ways you need to do this thing and simplify some work. So <clears throat> this, uh, this could be positive or negative in here. It would give the same result on the left-hand side. And this could be positive or negative over here. And you get the same result on the right-hand side. So there are actually four different combinations. If I negate the inside of this and leave the inside of this positive, I get that equation. If 
I negate the right hand side and leave the left hand side this alone or the same. Another combination is if I negate both sides or if I uh, do not negate either side, why am I writing that negative sign then? Um, if I negate neither side and just go with 4m minus 3 equals m plus 6. But let me ask you this question. Here was where we try to simplify some of this, some of the work that we have. If I were to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1, this would become positive, and then I'd get a negative over here. And wouldn't that make both of these equations the same? So I only have to worry about solving one of these. It'll both of them will provide the same exact value for m. In a similar manner, um, this side, if I multiplied both sides of this equation by negative 1, this would become positive and that would become positive, which means it would look exactly the same as equation number 4. So the reality is, is I don't have to do this one, or 4, whichever one you choose, and I really only need to do uh, or solve these two equations, number 1 and number 4, in order to get the two solutions that will make this statement true. These, these two are redundant, so you can simplify the work by doing that sort of thing if you, if you desire. Um, let's go take a look at finishing this. Uh, so I, I have negative, I'm going to, I guess I'll do this one because it's easier, it's right here. Um, 4m minus, so we're going to subtract m from both sides, and I'll get 3m minus 3 equals 6. Add 3 to both sides, and I get 3m equals 9. Divide both sides by 3, and I get m equals 3. So that's one of the two possible solutions. And then this guy is ne I have to copy it again. Uh, negative quantity, negative quantity 4m minus 3 equals, what was it, m plus 6? I think it was positive, right? Yep. Okay, so then if we go to solve this, I'm going to distribute this negative sign. And so I'm going to get negative 4m. That's like having a negative 1 there, recall. And I'm going to add 3m plus 6. Subtract m from both sides. And I get uh, negative 5m. So that makes our equation quite a bit different than the other, the other version. Uh, subtract 3 from both sides. And I get negative, no, I don't, I get 3, and then divide both sides by negative 5, and I get m equals negative 3 fifths. And so that's a quick, maybe not quick enough, but quick review of absolute value, absolute value equations.